Kim Zalshik calls 911 on Croy Bierman due to safety concerns during divorce. Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman's current living condition is far from idyllic. According to the call acquired by numerous outlets, the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum and former NFL star's ugly divorce got even uglier when she phoned 911 on him on Oct. 4, accusing him of stealing her two cell phones. In the 911 conversation obtained by TMZ, the reality star stated, I don't feel safe here and mentioned that Croy had locked himself inside their master bedroom. Police eventually arrived at their Georgia house and settled the quarrel, with Kim consenting to sleep in another room after the incident. Kim said their four kids, Croy Bierman Jr., 12, Cash Bierman, 10, and 9-year-old twins Kaya Bierman and Kane Bierman, were home at the time but not involved in the dispute because they were sleeping, per people. Ugh. News has reached out to Kim and Croy's rep for comment but hasn't heard back. The former couple's latest conflict adds to an already complicated timeline of their recent relationship troubles. Kim Zalshik filed for divorce from Croy Bierman after 11 years of marriage on May 8, and the ring no longer meant anything to her. The couple's divorce date was recorded as April 30th, according to paperwork acquired by TMZ, with the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum declaring their marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. Kim, who has Croy Jr., 11, Cash, 10, and 9-year-old twins Kane and Kaya with the former NFL player, as well as Brielle, 25, and Ariana, 21, has also requested primary physical custody and joint legal custody of the children, according to the documents. One day after Kim's filing, Croy made his own custody play when he also submitted a request for sole legal and physical custody of their four children. Per legal documents obtained by E! News, Kim was served a summons requiring her and Croy to complete a domestic intake worksheet that monitors the treatment of their their kids over 30 days. While both stars were still residing in their Georgia home when they announced their divorce, Croy asked in his filing to be awarded exclusive, temporary and permanent use and possession of the property as well as any others he purchased while they were married.